now let me discuss the other group of anti hyperlipidemic drugs that is intestinal cholesterol absorption inhibitors so in this intestinal cholesterol absorption inhibitors the drug what we have is ezetimibe so this is the drug in intestinal cholesterol absorption inhibitors now let me tell you the mechanism of action of this particular drug how it will reduce the cholesterol content in our body now remember in our intestine right in our intestines there is a transporter which is involved in the absorption of the cholesterol right there is a transporter which is involved in the absorption of the cholesterol in the intestines and what is that particular transporter it is nothing but it is your np c1 l1 all right so this is a transporter which is involved in the intestinal absorption of the cholesterol all right now what your ezetimibe will do is ezetimibe will inhibit this particular transporter right ezetimibe will inhibit the transporter which is involved in the intestinal absorption of the cholesterol that is npc 1l1 now what will happen once this particular transporter is inhibited there is decreased absorption of cholesterol all right there is decreased absorption of the cholesterol content of the liver all right so in the liver there will be decreased content of the cholesterol now what the liver will try to do liver will try to respond by increasing the ldl receptor synthesis all right what the liver will do it will respond by increasing the ldl receptor synthesis all right now this particular ezetimibe either it is used alone right either it is used alone or it is used in combination with statins right or it is used in combination with statins for type 2a and type 2b hyperlipoproteinemia all right so this is used alone or it is used in combination with type 2a or type 2b hyperlipoproteinemia all right so this is about one group of anti hyperlipidemic drug which will reduce the cholesterol absorption from the intestines which is nothing but ezetimibe